Hi, this is video 4. In this video we'll show you how to use the Panels Creator and the Extras Creator. Uh, these features have been around in Omnium for quite a while, but we're not sure if you guys know about these things. So, in this short video we'll show you how to use them, and uh, after watching you should be able to know how to create your own items. So, let's start by opening the Panels Gallery. Uh, you can do this by clicking here and then here, and on the right select uh, the item called Panel Creator. Right there, close this. Uh, this is only the gallery, right now it's empty, but uh, after we create something, an icon will appear here. So, clicking here will launch the actual creator. Well, I w right now I would need some kind of a panel. Hmm. I don't really have a panel for Sony Vegas, so I think I'll create just that. Here you can type in the name. and. Here you can type in the actions. You can either browse for a file, select a folder, or if you're clever, you can just uh, find it out by yourself. So we will search for Sony Vegas, right click it, go to properties, and uh, under the target we will copy the, the thing between the quotes. And we will paste it here. So right now the panel will know which, uh, which thing to open. Uh, we will also need an, an icon, for that we can google for one. Let's say Sony Vegas PNG. Uh, you'll see why typing in PNG after an icon is very useful, because of the transparent backgrounds. Right. Well, let's try this one. This one looks nice. We'll just save it to our stuff folder. And uh, We'll open our stop folder. So basically what you can do is just drag and drop it into this thing. Well, it's not quite perfect. The color of the panel is almost the same as the icon, so we'll select a different color too. And uh, after that we just click create. It might take a bit longer on older computers, but uh, it's pretty quick here. So as you can see we just made uh, a panel that's uh, not included in Omnimo. And uh, it seems to work too. So we'll close that. You can also change the settings of this panel later after you have already created it. So you can change the color to something something else. Well or reset it. So probably select this color. Oh uh, actually. Yeah, some of that. And uh, you can also select the variance of the icon. So by clicking this arrow thing can select the multiple uh, kinds of styles. Now sometimes you can accidentally click it. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can close this panel by just clicking it. You can always reopen it from the panels creator gallery. Uh, as you can see it made an icon right here. So you will just be able to open it and open it again. Well, Let's uh, let's try something else. You can actually drag and drop certain items into this thing. So, for instance, you can drag and drop a shortcut icon, like this. And as you can see, it already created everything. You don't even need to search for an image. Clicking Create Panel will just create it, just like that. You can do this with pretty much all of the Windows shortcuts. So that's uh, rather convenient. Right. Uh, you can del delete these by middle clicking them if you want to free up your space, but uh, I think we'll just keep these for now. The next thing I want to show you is how to use the extra creator. It's a bit more interesting because uh, you can add some more exciting stuff to your desktop. To open it, select this thing here, go to extras, and click on the purple icon for the extra creator. Well, nothing much to look at at the moment but uh, I'll show you how to add some really cool stuff to it. Now let's explore some of the things you can do here. You can add the name here, uh, you save it by clicking enter, select the size, select or assign the action, you can also bro browse for one. And uh, to the left, that's where you assign the image. Unfortunately it's not drag and drop enabled, so you need to use this little menu here. We'll start by downloading some example images that we can experiment with. Just click on download more, and download this thing here. Just double click it, install it, and uh, 
go back to this and browse for a PNG. So as you can see there there have been more icons that we can try now. And uh, let's start with, uh, with another Ken Reeves icon. So as you can see he doesn't quite fit inside of the window but that doesn't matter. So select the size which can be M for instance and select build item. So you have another can of reefs here that you can just put on any panels or, or anywhere else. So that's actually kind of cool. I will also show you how to add icons from the internet. Let's say you want to create some kind of a character. Something like that. And you have a vague idea of what the character is going to be. Something from Lego. Let's do this. Find your character. Let's say this guy, for example. Right click, select save. Well, we already have one here. So we'll assume that you save it. And uh, from here, from the menu, select browse for a PNG and navigate away from this folder to your folder with the image that you just downloaded. Select it and select open. Don't forget to assign the action. It can be anything. It can be an app or a website. This for instance. And select enter. And click build item. And as you can see you just built an item which is a website launcher. That's kind of cool. You can do this with pretty much any image that doesn't have a background. So you can combine these images with minimalistic wallpapers to create some really really cool desktops. It's basically like having a theme t-shirt, but on your desktop. And that's it. We hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe for some more Omnimore related videos. Thanks for watching.